here you'll see there's two of me. <laughs> this is on purpose. Um, the video is one that I made earlier. This is the view that you get when you're using standout presenter view um, in Microsoft Teams. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a PowerPoint. The reason I had to pre-record this is because this is a very, very new feature in Teams. And at the moment, it's only available within a normal Teams meeting, not a Teams live event. So as we're doing a Teams live event for this webinar, I was unable to show you live, but um, you can see in this recording how it looks. If I just play that video again, you'll see that with standout presenter view, you can appear in front of your uh, PowerPoint content as if you're standing up in front of a boardroom um, in the office and present through your content as you would normally. Um, you can also appear in front of any other content that you would normally share in a Teams meeting. So whether that is a PowerPoint, an Excel sheet, or a website. So I've got an example here where I'm in front of our Bedrock website. So you can use it to show any example of any of the content you would normally want to share with your audience in a meeting. So let's take a look at how and also why we might want to do this. Um, meeting attendees tend to be more focused and have a better experience when their presenter is in, inside or alongside their presentation. Um, so as if you're in a room in the office, it's much easier to understand what your presenter is saying and um, take it in if you're getting the visual clues that the presenter is giving you alongside the content. Um, instead of having to look between two videos or two, um, two sections of content on a screen. Um, so in order to use this new standout presenter mode, um, you see there is a number one circled on the screen there. Yes, the content share button. So that's the button you would usually click anyway to share content within a Teams meeting. So you click that first. Underneath that appears in box two, presenter mode. So this gives you the two options that are currently available for presenting content within a Teams meeting. On the left, that's the standard view. Um, so that's what you're probably used to right now, where you just share the content and appear in a video screen alongside it. The button to the right is the new standout presenter mode, which will allow you to appear in front of your presentation uh, like I did in the example on the previous slide. Um, after, your, after you've chosen that presenter mode, um, you then click on the next option in box three, which again, you're probably used to as you share content normally within Teams. You can choose to either share the full screen, which will then allow you to sc scroll through multiple options of, of content to share, or just pick one window, um, which is useful if you just want to share one PowerPoint um, in, in that share, uh, share option. Um, it's important to note as well that with the new standout presenter mode, Teams will always default back to the standard option. So if you do want to appear in front of your content, you have to make sure you select the button on the right underneath presenter mode to appear in front of your content. But then again, if you don't want to appear in front of your content, Teams isn't just going to throw you out there and um, you're, you're not going to suddenly appear if you don't want to. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind when you're playing about with these new features. <laughs> 